Bruiser, your first question asking what I plan to do with it, what I'm doing with the, with the Pogo Plug. So in relation to my Unraid server, which is my internal storage box, my mass storage network attached storage, I've said it before, my, uh, my Unraid box is not a backup solution. It's a storage solution. It's got redundancy, so if a hard drive fails, I'm protected. That's great, but it's still not a backup solution. Uh, we do back up a couple of our workstations to it, of course, but uh, it, overall it is a storage solution, not, uh, not anything else. So using the Pogo plug, what I'm doing is, uh, is actually putting a hard drive off-site. Uh, I can install that at a friend's house or at a, at a family member's house hooked up to their high-speed internet. And then I'm setting up uh, a sync, like R-Sync or something along those lines to work on a cron job or on a, on a timer so that at 2 o'clock every morning, it's going to automatically uh, synchronize my Unraid box with the Pogo plug so that there is an off-site version of everything that's stored on my Unraid box. So now I have not only the internal redundancy of if I fail a drive, I've still got the data, uh, but also the off-site redundancy that if uh, something tragic were to happen to my physical possessions, that there would still be, uh, there would still be a, a, an actual hard drive that's physically off-site that is up-to-date and that, current, you know, that has all the current files. With incremental backup, uh, from my Unraid box, uh, or synchronization, I should say, <clears throat> the backup that takes place every night is only going to be a synchronization of the files that have been either created or modified since the last backup. So that means that if I have three terabytes of data that's going to my Pogo plug, it's only going to be three terabytes the first time, and then from then on, it's going to be uh, little files here and there, whatever it is that I create that day. So that's pretty awesome. Transfer rate of the Pogo plug. Uh, it has a gigabit uh, Ethernet. It's going to be limited completely. Pardon me. It's going to be limited by your uh, Internet connection. Uh, so that's, that's really the deciding factor. So my first backup, the big one, is going to take place internally. It's going to happen on my LAN. And then uh, off-site will be through DSL. Yeah, good guy mentioning. Three terabytes would take about a year. If I were to do all of it at once through DSL, definitely. 